In this video lesson, we're going to look at how to link external data to a database. For example, you may have some data in another spreadsheet, a different database, a text file that you want to be able to see from within the database. This is one of the methods that you can use. I have my database set up with staff details on a course list. When the staff go on the course, um, we get a list of whether or not they've passed or failed the course and the scores that they achieved. So I want to be able to see that information in my database. We insert this as a table and I'm going to use the new button to create a new table. You'll have used this before to create tables in Datasheet View and perhaps using the wizards but we can use the link table feature. This allows us to navigate the computer for the information that we are looking for. Now I've saved this on the desktop for easy access and it's actually a spreadsheet file that I'm looking for but the default of file that we're looking for is Microsoft Office Access. So don't forget to always tell the computer the type of file you are looking for because currently with that set at access you'll only see access files available. So all we need to do is change that file type to the type of file that you're looking for and then those types of files are displayed. So there's my test results spreadsheet. So I can select that with a single click or double click Double click will open it immediately and obviously a single click just selects it and we can use the link button. We then have a link spreadsheet wizard available and it's looking inside the spreadsheet at the moment. It's showing us that there are three worksheets, sheet one, two and three. If you are familiar with spreadsheets then you'll understand that. If not it doesn't matter at this stage. There's only data on sheet one. Again if you are familiar with spreadsheets you might know about creating named ranges. If you do you can also link to a specific named range. But in this instance we've got a simple worksheet with all the data on sheet one and we can see a preview of the data there. We then proceed through the wizard. This next stage is about deciding whether or not we've got titles in the data. You can see it says first row contains column headings and that column headings are date, duration, score. That's the information that's actually inside the spreadsheet. I can choose to use that information as my column headings or not. It depends how your data has been set up. Obviously in this case it makes sense for me to use those as column headings. Proceed through the wizard and give your linked table a sensible name and then finish. Select OK for the message to say that the linking has been completed and there we can see the linked spreadsheet. If I double click on this table now I can see all my test data for my candidates in this table. Now although this is linked it's only one directional. I can't actually change data. It won't let me. It's locked. But because it is linked if I open the spreadsheet file and that's what I've done here then I can make modifications in inside the original spreadsheet file And those will be updated in the link table in the database. As you can see there. Sometimes you might need to manually update that if the spreadsheet is actually being worked on at the same time and hasn't yet been saved. Then you can manually update by right clicking um, and looking at the linked table manager. Um, 
and what this does it selects the link tables to be updated so I'll choose which table to update click on OK the data for me so that is linking external data we use a new table a link table and then just follow the wizard through and we can link to more than one type of source I link to an Excel worksheet you can also link to text files CSV files or the database tables linking tables